Hey guys, welcome back to more time study again. I received a lot of questions on the standard wheel orders video. By the way, thanks for watching this video. Some points are still unclear, so I decided to make this, I hope, more advanced video to clear up some confusing points regarding how to steer a modern ship. For this purpose, let's use such kind of ship's bridge simulator for our convenience. If you are a helmsman or an officer steering a vessel, here are the basic tools you must control while steering. The first, of course, is a steering wheel. It is located on the ship's control panel or on a separate steering control panel, also called rudder control panel, and is usually combined with a wheel order indicator. For example, if you receive the order port 10 degrees, you turn the wheel to port and check the wheel order indicator to ensure it shows 10 degrees. Or if you receive a hard starboard order, you turn the wheel and check if it shows 35 degrees to starboard. As you may have noticed, the movement of the numbers and the red marker on the wheel order indicator can be rather confusing for an experienced helmsman. There are two types of wheel order indicators. The one is when the red marker moves along the numbers and the other when the numbers move together with the wheel, which gives the illusion that the red marker is moving in the opposite direction. Well, congratulations, we have a second one here. Hope you guys can handle it and not get confused. So guys, to check if the ship's rudder answers to your wheel order, the following tool is used. And that tool is a rudder angle indicator. It's usually mounted on the ceiling and it's called the panorama rudder angle indicator. But it can also be located on control or overhead panels. You should check whether the indicator arrow moves at all and if it shows the same rudder angle that you set with the wheel. For example, if you've turned the wheel to port 10 degrees, you can see how the indicator arrow of the rudder angle indicator with some delay moves and stops at port 10 degrees. Perfect. So guys, need to say that we have here a normal situation when the ship is on hand steering and the follow-up mode is on, steering pumps are running and the main engine is working ahead. So there are no reasons the rudder doesn't answer the wheel. The next important tool that you should pay attention to while steering is the rate of turn indicator. It's usually located on the bridge overhead panel. It indicates the rate a ship is turning in degrees per minute. So, by the wheel you give the order. Rudder angle indicator shows whether the ship's rudder is turned correctly. And the rate of turn indicator shows you whether the vessel has started to turn. A vessel may not start turning for a variety of reasons, such as strong wind and current, vessel size and small rudder angle. Indicator arrow of the rate of turn indicator shows the instantaneous rate at which a ship is turning. So for example, if you turn the wheel to port 10 degrees, the rudder angle indicator shows port 10. The rate of turn indicator will not show you exactly port 10, it will vary. But the main thing you should understand is that the ship is turning and turning to port. If you have altered course and decided to stop turning and set the wheel to midships, you can see from the rate of turn indicator that the ship is still turning to port and it takes some time to come to a complete stop. Therefore, you should turn the wheel to midships or to the opposite side sometime before the ship sets a new course. Ok guys, another important tool for helmsman is, of course, the gyro compass. The gyro compass repeater is usually located on the steering control panel, so the helmsman can see it clearly. On modern ships, there is a digital repeater that may be easier to read, but it's not as good for steering as the steering repeater, which is also on the steering control panel. 
The steering repeater ensures a clear indication of the heading information by using a 360 degree and a 10 degree compass card. Alright guys, let's turn to starboard this time. We'll starboard 10, check the rudder angle indicator, it's starboard 10, check the rate of turn indicator, the arrow starts moving to starboard and at the same time you can see that the gyro compass cards are moving and visually if the terrain allows you can see that the ship is turning. Great! When observing the compass readings it should be noted that as with the wheel order indicator the numbers move and the red marker stays in place. Now you can see that we have decided to stop the ship's turn between the red and green buoys and take a course of 006 degrees. Beforehand we turn the rudder to midships and watch the gyro compass readings. So, we are on course 006 degrees. Rate of turn is zero, wheel at midships. Done? Perfect. So guys, one more moving object on the bridge is the watch officer, captain or pilot, or all of them together. You should also pay due attention to them because they control the ship and give orders. Well, I hope this video was useful for you. In the next part, we'll simulate all the standard wheel orders as well as the non-standard orders you mentioned. So guys, subscribe, give us likes and Merry Christmas and Happy New Year.